and welcome to The Balcony with Jeremiah Johnson 84. And on today's video, we're going to be looking at how to make natural rooting horn. And all you're going to need is some fresh willow growth from an old willow tree, an old cast iron or containing pot to hold the mix, and a blender, a knife, and a pair of scissors. So starting off, you'll see that I've got this willow branch, and I've been taking the new growth, not the main stems, but the smaller, very nice green branches. Now the reason for this is because A, there's a lot more nutrients in these brands and there's a, it's going to be a lot easier for that material to break down and extract that material in a short amount of time as opposed to waiting for the longer and larger pieces of wood to break down. So let's go ahead and start stripping down these stems and taking off all the leaves and the new growth from these branches. Now in most videos you'll see people cutting them up or trimming them, but I've decided to extract as much as I can. And just like a juicer, when you break down the vegetables and fruit, you really get to the hearty meat of that vegetable and really attack those nutrients. Well, it's kind of the same idea. So you can go ahead and either strip down some of that light vegetation off the branches. And if you've got a stick that's kind of tough and larger, hang on to those, but trim off the smaller leaves. And we'll use those for a second part later. So I'm just going to go ahead and strip down all the new growth of, of the leaves off of these branches and put them right into the blender. And all those store-bought rooting hormones work very well. The problem can be when you're using them for food, vegetables, or other edible plants, it can be very harmful and detrimental to your health. And also there can be warning labels on it to say keep away from pets or children and do not eat. So with that in mind, you know, sometimes you can put two and two together and realize that this might not be the best alternative for growing your fruit and vegetable plants. So as you can see, I have very end of the stem here, and that very green light area, that's what you're going to want to find. If, and just by holding one end of the branch, you can very easily take your two fingers and pinch off all the branches in one easy swoop. And that way you'll also know that you're only getting the new lighter growth. So you don't want to clog the blender up too much, so I'm just going to go ahead and trim those leaves back a bit before I give them a pulse. So we've got majority of the leaves and the small newer growth in the blender. And as you can see, I've collected a lot of these branches now, just in front of the cast iron pot there. And there's real, no real science to this in terms of measurement. You just want to make sure you have a decent consistency between the, the amount of leaf and plant growth to the amount of water. I believe I'll be using roughly two cups of material to about one to two cups of water, so about 50-50. And you can always add more water if you choose to. So I've got the broken up stems into the cast iron pot and I'm now putting the hot water into both the blender and the pot. And so now you can see I've got my delicious looking blend here. I'm just going to pop it onto the blender and pulsate it for about 30 seconds to a minute. And again what this is doing is I'm trying to extract as much of the nutrient out as possible. And by blending the leaves down we're really going to be extracting out that nutrient level. So after about a quick 30 seconds and a few pulses, we're going to take the blended leaf mix and mix it right into the cast iron pot with the stem cutting. And I thought with the diversity there might be some slow release from the stem cuttings and a quick release from the leaves. Now once we have that delicious mix mixed up into the cast iron pot, I'd recommend leaving it for at least one hour and no more than 24 hours. And so I'm going to show you both what it looks like after one hour as well as waiting about 20 hours of of letting it steep overnight in a cool dark place. So I'm just going to go ahead and add a little bit more water getting out any more particles or any more of that leaf from the blender itself and as well as the cap. Okay so now that we've got our full mix of willow leaves and stems into the cast iron pot you can see that there's a nice fluorescent almost green look to it. Very fresh and it's almost like there's grass cuttings in there. And so like I mentioned after waiting one hour which is the least I would leave it to allow that nutrient level to extract from the leaves and stems this is what you're gonna find. Just after one hour it's darkened up a little bit but it's still that very youthful green grow color. So I'm just gonna take this shot glass and Give it a quick mix first. I'm going to remove a little bit and put it into this strainer. And you can see that it immediately starts filtering out and we can start saving our rooting hormone. 
So after one hour, you can tell it's still very fresh and the nutrients and other ingredients still haven't extracted fully from the stems. But like I said, you can use this as it is at only after an hour of steeping and the effects will still be there. As you can see, it's almost like a lime Kool-Aid. Looks refreshing. So if you are pressed for time and you feel like making this is already a lot, then you can use this. And what I'd recommend doing is taking the plant of your choice and stripping back some of the leaves, maybe cutting the stem on a slight angle, and then simply just dousing the end of the stem into the liquid and then dropping the stem into the soil or into your growing medium. So I'm going to go ahead and dump that back into the cast iron pot and we're going to let this sit for a full 20 hours. And that way we can all see what it looks like after letting the minerals and nutrients be extracted into the water. And I prefer letting it sit for 20 hours so we can get a little bit better of a rooting hormone out of it. So after 20 hours, you can totally see the difference. It's almost like motor oil now. And after giving it a quick stir, you can stir up some of the stuff that's settled to the bottom. But we're going to be filtering it all out again anyway, so that's okay. But you can really tell the difference. And after letting it steep for 20 hours, what's happened is the water has extracted all of that rich nutrient um, rooting hormone that we're hopefully going to be using to use on propagating our plants and other cuttings. So similar to what I did before, I'm just going to go ahead and get all this willow leaf and branch out of it, the cauldron <laughs> and put into the strainer. And as you can see, it will percolate and drip down into the glass. And in a moment, you'll just see how different it is when you let it sit for an extra 20 hours. That green, youthful color is down, totally gone, and we're left with almost that motor oil color. And it's not only the color, but it's the consistency. It's almost sticky like oil as well. Okay, so let's remove the screen. Get a little bit more of that liquid out of there. And I'll show you this natural rooting hormone that is steeped for... 20 to 24 hours and just for presentation purposes I have it in this glass cup so everyone can see the consistency and color and as you can see totally different than the earlier part of this video where it looked like that lime green Kool-Aid so I'm going to be transferring the rooting hormone over to this clear container with an airtight lid and that way I can keep it in the fridge and it's been told that you can keep it up for two months but I wouldn't really want to keep it for more than two two weeks to a month because you'd be sure to lose all the, the nutrients and the efficiency and the effectiveness of the rooting hormone would probably start to lose its quality after that two-week period. So I'm just going to go ahead and throw majority of this into the strainer and let the strainer do its job and filter out all those larger particles. And just with the roughly two cups of water I used for this steeping mix, you can see how much you actually get out of the willow branches. And there's quite a bit here, and this would, is more than I'd ne ever need. I can give this away to neighbors, other family members, because there's no way I'll go through all of this at all. And when you're putting the rooting hormone on the cuttings, um, you can also put a little few drops in where you're going to be planting it as well. And as you can see, that's what's left of the willow mix. And there you have it, your final product, your natural rooting hormone made from willow branches. And for an even greater mix, try different varieties of willows test them out yourself to see how well they work. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, and if you found it helpful, please share it, like, and even subscribe if you haven't already. And stay tuned for more Jeremiah Johnson 84 videos where we'll be trying different types of cuttings and propagating different plants in future videos. So please hit the video link above to subscribe, and again, thanks for watching, see you next time.